Welcome to episode 49, Infra Kemprat, the founding of IKEA. This is an outline of episode 49. There are two reasons why we study Inwa Kamprad. First, his company IKEA is one of the biggest global brands. Second, he fits my mode of three paradoxes. First, small village, big billionaire. Second, small country, big billionaire. Third, small education, big billionaire. He was born in a small village of Amterid in Sweden in 1926. His grandfather was German. Jag är Bonapojka nere från Småland. DNA att where his grandfather had killed himself with a gun when he realized that he couldn't pay the mortgage on their family farm. From teenager he decided to go into business and he never finished high school. Company was founded in 1943 by Ingvar Kamprad. He was 17 when he started his company in the kitchen table. He started with pencils, matches and postcards. The acronym IKEA is made up of the initials of his name plus those of Elmtard, the family farm where he was born, and the nearby village, Aganard. IKEA opened its first store in 1958. It His business motto, low prices, good quality, good design, own production, customer self-service, customer self-assemble furniture, using flat package design. Låga kostnader, låga hyror och så vidare och eh, en rationell varuhantering. Eh, det andra och mer unika är att vi intresserar oss särskilt mycket för produktionssidan där eh, vi genom egen formgivning och konstruktion eh, kommer fram till lösningar som är kostnadsgynnsamma. IKEA is also based on constant innovation and teamwork. Every day we say to each other, what can we do better tomorrow? We have decided once and for all to side with the many. What is good for our customers is also, in the long run, good for us. En gång med en idé, och ni förvaltar den. Det är vi som svarar för genomförandet. At the height of the Cold War in 1961, to save costs, Camp Pratt moved production of furniture to Soviet Poland, causing much controversy. To save on taxes and prevent a takeover, and to preserve a way of life for his employees and customers, he set up IKEA as a non-profit organization. Ingvar Kamprad, the founder of IKEA, created the philanthropic Stichting Inca Foundation, whose mission is to further the advancement of interior design. IKEA's bizarre business model looks like this. The nonprofit Stichting Inca owns a private Dutch company, Inca Holdings, that owns the majority of individual stores at the franchise level. The company, the overall setup of IKEA, minimizes tax and disclosure, handsomely rewards the founding Comprod family, and makes IKEA immune to a takeover. And he also moved and lived in Switzerland from 1974 to 2013, 39 years. He is also famous for his extreme frugal lifestyle. For example, he said he shopped most of his clothes from flea market, as shown in this picture. Also, he drives a 15-year-old Volvo, uh, lives in a modest house, and often takes public transportation, and he does not have his own office, all to save money. In 1994, a scandal broke out on his Nazi tie. IKEA founder Ingvar Kamprad, Kamprad, I don't know, has ties to the Nazi party. Oof. However, it seems he's been very open about it in the past. A statement from an IKEA spokesman reads, Ingvar gave a detailed account back in 1994 about what he describes as his youthful sins and the biggest mistake of his life, apologizing and asking for forgiveness from all parties involved. Becoming number one furniture, retail, and production in the world since 2008. It's been the world's largest furniture retailer since 2008. Expansion into China, Russia, India, Egypt, etc. E7 stores in 48 countries. In 2015, approximately 884 million people visited IKEA stores, more than twice the population of the United States. What have I learned today? IKEA was started on a kitchen table by 17 year old Ingvar Kaprat, 
originally selling pencils and postcards. Over the years, with relentless low price design innovation, IKEA has grown from a mail order business in a small village into the world's largest furniture retailer and producer. It has taken more than 70 years. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be 10 Lessons of Ingwa Kemperat. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.